If you are a business owner and you've at some point in you being a business owner have ever wanted to create something that would have required you to know how to code, then this video is for you. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Shanae Ray. I'm the founder of growthacademy.global, have almost a million followers on LinkedIn and 425,000 plus LinkedIn newsletter subscribers. And as a business owner, I've had a lot of things that I have had ideas about that I wish I would have had the skills to be able to turn into reality because I'm not a coder. The main thing that we're going to be learning today is something new from Claude AI, which is a competitor of ChatGPT. And what Claude AI has been able to achieve is something where you can prompt it to create a game, an interactive element, a quiz, whatever. And it will not just give you the code, but create the thing instantly for you to be able to see and interact with. So what we're going to do today Today is just see one or two use cases of it, but it's pretty cool. It's almost, you don't need to be a coder anymore to create these simple things. It's instant right there in front of you. There are people who are already even creating video games with this new version of Claude or a new feature, I'd say. The new feature is called Claude Artifacts. And I'll show you how to get to it, how to turn it on. I believe that it's only available if you're on the professional plan or the paid plan, which is similar to ChatGBT. I think it's 20 bucks a month. And I'm going to show you how you could actually make it create something for you. And then where you would put that thing to be able to send to maybe customers or prospects of yours. So the first step here is to go to Claude.ai. And if you do not have an account, you're going to have to create a Claude account. Personally, I can tell you that between ChatGBT and Claude, I am probably using Claude more and more these days. I think the one advantage that ChatGBT has on Claude is the ability to create custom GPTs for specific functions, but Claude Autofacts is pretty cool. So I'm spending more time here. So as you can see, once you're on the paid plan, which you'll see right here, the professional plan, you'll see new artifacts, create and iterate on documents, code, and more within Claude. So I'm going to click try it out. And then all you have to do is toggle this to the right. And then you will have turned the artifacts feature on. Preview and provide feedback on upcoming enhancements. Please note experimental features might influence Claude's behavior. As you could see from the screenshot, you'll be able to prompt whatever you want it to create with code on the left-hand side. And then the right-hand side will pop up and be its own screen. And you'll experience that with me here. So how can Claude help you today? I'm going to tell it to create a quiz for founders that want to start a LinkedIn newsletter. So the first thing that I need for this quiz is a list of questions. So I'm going to say, create a list of 10 questions that founders should ask themselves when or before starting their LinkedIn newsletter. So it's going to give me a list of questions. And then what I'm going to do is say, provide answers that are practical for each question. So it'll be a question and then it'll be an answer. And here's the question. Here's the answers. And then what I'm going to say is create a quiz. Create an interactive quiz around these questions for business owners to self-evaluate. So you know that it's going to enter code mode when it says, certainly, I'll create an interactive quiz using React. So it's using the feature React to help business owners self-evaluate their readiness to start a LinkedIn newsletter. And then you'll see a bunch of the pretty code on the right-hand side. It's amazing what it created because we could interact with it. So how clear are you on the unique insights you could offer to your audience? We could put very clear next. And so you could instantly interact with this, which is somewhat separate from what you can do on ChatGBT. ChatGBT will give you the code, but within Claude now you can interact with these elements. We can tell it to ask 10 questions and 
we could give it a little bit more instruction. So I could say, make the quiz 10 questions long based on the answer they select, provide one actionable tip and make the colors more bold and fun. So it should alter the code. As you can see, it's changing it. And this is just the first one is so incredible because again, this is like coding on command. So it made it prettier. And then let's say that I click somewhat clear, it will give me a tip. Create a mind map of your expertise areas, visualize potential unique insights. And what I could do is actually provide it with each tip that it produces. And I could potentially include resources that I have created in here so that it always leads back to our website or my specific call to action. Your next question is probably like, well, how would I send this to customers or how can I have people interact with this? And it's a great question. The easiest way or one of the ways that we're going to start doing this is you'll need something called code pen and I I'll show you exactly how to do that. And then once you get a link from CodePen, you could embed it to a Notion page and Notion is free. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to show you exactly how you would do this. And I'm going to tell it, I need the code to be formatted for CodePen so I can put it on a Notion page. And I'm just going to tell it that because again, I'm not a coder and I just want to make sure that the code is correct so that I don't have to do this a million times. So it says combine HTML, CSS, and JavaScript into a single file for code pen. I'm just going to say make it HTML to make it easier for the purposes of this thing. And it'll split it. It's giving me an HTML, a CSS, and a JavaScript because I'm going to have to copy each of those individually into there. So now we're going to go to code pen. And codepen.io is just a website. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click this. And I guess that's all I have to click. And then I'm going to click this and then copy down here and put it here. And then the JavaScript, I'm going to click this and put it here. And it didn't work. So we're going to go back and say it did not work. Make it simpler for me. I'm going to copy and I'm going to put it in HTML. And then go back here, CSS. So this is what it looks like. So then not clear at all. Okay, irregular. I'm going to say make it 10 questions. We're almost there. Okay, so it's saying keep the HTML and replace the JavaScript. Got to look at the instructions. Share at the bottom, copy link. And then what we're going to do is go to Notion. And then we could do page here. You do code pen, embed the link run pen and you could do this you could say make it better but it's pretty cool you could change the design you could change the resources that it has and if you do want to go and start your linkedin newsletter and succeed with that go to ugrow.club we're having a challenge so if you haven't launched yours yet or you've been inconsistent with yours go there but i think this is pretty cool let's try one more thing the fact that you could put this on this Notion page, I could then make the page shareable and maybe send it to clients and stuff is pretty cool. Let's go. One more. I'll show you one that I prompted, more non-professional that I can use with my daughter. So I could say, create a wheel that spins and lands on a random idea to play outside with my seven-year-old. Make the ideas only outdoors so that we could spend more time outside. You could probably do this for cooking ideas. Spin the wheel. And then I could say, make the colors more pastel. And I could say, make the result big once the wheel stops spinning. And as you can see, here's the ideas, hopscotch, bubbles, fly a kite. The fact that it's doing this by itself is pretty incredible. And it's down here, let's go play hide and seek. And I could say, make it slow down the closer it gets to the result to increase anticipation. 
And as you can see, it's slowing down. Let's go hopscotch. I could just make it better and better and do the same thing, copy and paste the code, put it on a page that is just public on Notion that I just pin somewhere on my Apple Notes that I could always just use with my daughter. So the main thing here is especially as a business owner, think about what it is that your best clients pay you for. Maybe what can you provide them that is interactive? Maybe a calculator, a quiz, something, maybe turning your ebook into a video game, especially if it's an asset that you know, based on data that your clients actually like, want, converts prospects into clients, so on and so forth. And so this was just a little bit of a taste of number one, that Claude artifacts exist because most people don't know. Number two, that it's not that complicated. So there's a little bit of refinement with the code stuff, but with CodePen, and I'm not paying for CodePen. I don't know if it's free forever, but for the ones that I've used, it has not charged me anything. And Notion is free too. So just with a couple additional steps, I'm not a coder and I basically just created two things. And I think the most important thing here is what can you create that's going to be the most beneficial, the most fun, the most educational for your audience or that can add substance to something that you're already doing. So for example, in day one of the challenge for the LinkedIn newsletter challenge, and if you want to master LinkedIn newsletters in four days, then go to yougrow.club and join the challenge. But we're going to have one outcome or activity for you to do for each day. And maybe I'll be creating and adding to that activity by making it fun and interactive with a custom resource that we're building. But I wanted to show you this. God bless you. Go play around with Claude Artifacts and I'll be uploading videos of things that we find useful and how to create them. Ciao.